So what is the color of today? The color today, last week we did red. This week we are doing orange slash yellow. So those kind of fall under the same category. Um, and that specifically, when you think of orange, you, a lot of people, you know, you'll think of like a carrot. Carrot is known for their correct 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 noise sorry that was a hard word um and <laughs> that then when we think of that that's specifically related to our eye health so the eating foods that are orange and yellow are generally known for increasing our eye health because they act as um they have protecting agents that basically like protect from sun damage or just like pollution, all the toxins that we are, our eyes are exposed to every day. So a lot of these fruits and vegetables, some of them that we'll talk through now, um, have this component to them. So all, so you're saying that these orange or, or yellow, they have, all of them have carotenoids or there are like few specifics like carrot? So they all, they all have a little bit of it but some of them are like much more potent and those are, there's like specific ones that you would if you are wanting to focus on eye health then that's and like i said that's just like the case with all these fruits and vegetables is usually there's a, there's a lot of crossover but specific ones are more specific to a, a need a specific health need that we have so yes yeah, so as we just said, carrots, emphasis on the vision component. Um, they also are super high in vitamin C. Carrots are found everywhere. They're great as a snack. They're great in soups. They're great in salads. You can very easily incorporate them into your day-to-day -day life. Um, another orange is an actual orange. And that is very, very high in vitamin C. Um, so vitamin C, immunity, it helps with your energy. Um, orange is the mo one of the more common foods that has a lot of vitamin C, orange and lemon as well. Like for myself, I every morning mm -hmm. squeeze lemon juice into my water because that is a really easy way to increase, boost your hydration, get a little boost of vitamin C to start your day and just helps you be more energized. Um, and then we also have tomatoes, which are a variety of different colors, but we see a lot of orange, yellow, and red there. Again, vitamin C, we also have vitamin K that's pretty high in oranges, I mean, in tomatoes. And then another really powerful orange color is sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes have vitamin B6, which is really important. Uh, it helps boost our serotonin. It protects our brains, our bodies. Uh, it also has vitamin A, vitamin C, and some vitamin K as well. So those are a few. There is also turmeric. And I know we touched a little bit on turmeric last week, turmeric and ginger. So turmeric yellow, ginger has the brown skin, but once you peel it down, it's orange, um, orange yellow, both of them are. And these two ingredients alone are super powerful, but then together even more powerful. Uh, they're both talking on the immunity piece, super, super strong for our immunities. Um, they both help with inflammation. And so like as like a dynamic duo, we have like the turmeric for the inflammation and then the ginger also inflammation, but it also, it has properties that um, just like bring like ease and balance into our body, specifically into our gut. And um, there's just, so many strong, powerful nutrients in both of these foods that make our bodies, it's just like boosting. If you ever want an immunity boost, you should just always have those two ingredients. Um, and they can be used in a variety of foods. It's super common in Indian food. Um, they incorporate a bunch of spices and spices in general have so many compounds and nutrients. And so when different compounds, I think we touched a bit about on this last week, but when different compounds come together, it creates even more. It's just like one thing stands alone can do one thing, but then when you combine, it creates a whole new whatever. So it's it's a creation. Everything is constantly. And then our bodies just feel it and love it. And you you can feel when, like for when I eat pickled ginger, I can feel my gut and my stomach, like the difference. And 
it feels like very often like it's just kind of like helping balance bring everything into balance and when you're listening to your body you will feel these things but you just really need to like start to connect and tune in and a lot of us neglect that um which then leads to why we all struggle with these health effects and have these negative health impacts so if we're listening more we would have less of that for sure yeah turmeric obviously it's um anti-inflammatory yeah. yeah so usually a lot, a lot of these especially these days um they're putting turmeric on um you know just on a, any, anything like a, like mayo yeah yeah Any just uh, I, I mean sometimes i feel like you know um, even in the restaurants you know pepper salt and turmeric they need to start doing it <laughs> i know they should <laughs> yeah because you know it, it has turns, so much it does turn your it could turn anything yellow though like yeah when and it's very, pretty it, strong yeah. yeah then you're yellow pretty strong what do you call uh, what do you call a uh, coloring agent you know it, it, it leaves stains on stains on uh, the clothes but yeah but see however strong the color it is but it is um that much beneficial yeah that, that much beneficial i mean you know you know every little bit of turmeric every day uh you know it it, it uh, maintains the muscles so right. you know with more function you know it's like a it's like a coffee every day <laughs> so yeah. turmeric you, you brought up a point just now turmeric maintains the muscles what does that mean so basically um it's anything that uh, has anti-inflammatory effect that inherently maintains the well-being of the muscle Hmm. because let's say you walk and it produces a certain amount of lactic acid and lactic acid produces inflammation oh okay so um let's say um you walk here to the you know the the gate and and gate and you come back you know you feel tired right i mean you know it's it's natural right but so when you have these ingredients in your diet um you tend to feel less painful hmm. yeah, yeah even inflammation of your heart like it's yeah, anything, organ, anything. It's inflammation of anything so essentially and also um, you know how amazing the human body is made muscle strong muscle you know you know let's say calf muscle your glute and anything you know shoulder and these are hard muscles and you're like you mentioned heart muscle right and you know the, these small sensitive muscles they all take the same supplements mm-hmm. and they they don't have different names for these things structure looks the same mm-hmm. mm. but when you look at it functionality are completely different mm. that's that's i mean that is something nobody can decode all we can do we can talk about all this natural stuff but uh, that is something else so but whenever these things are functioning definitely there is certain amount of inflammation causes and you know you you eat any food anything right so these these, these supplements especially turmeric and you know capsaicin like i said right those, those things reduces inflammation so um so basically your threshold of taking pain you know it's it's a little bit high when you when you start consuming this because it, these things maintain the muscle right. it's like a natural version of having people use advil to exactly. reduce inflammation yeah. this yeah. is a natural more long term solution because you can't have advil every day or else your liver is going to give out yep 